Saturday Night Fright here at Siege. Uh, today we are going to be playing a game called Visage. Uh, we are both game designers yep. and basically we're going to be doing an analysis of the game as we play, what makes it horrific, and just how it works. So we can also give an example of how to play like a designer. And before anything else, I just want to quick give a shout out to the uh, DreamHack folks down here um, in Atlanta and say that DreamHack Atlanta is happening November 16th to 18th because you know what? They provided the hardware we're playing this on. Woo! <laughs> That sounds good. Yeah, good job. We're professionals. You are. You, you're. You're gonna come up here, right? Wait, what's happening? You made me rant. You're joining us for this. <laughs> the horror begins. What are we doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so short version, which we just did for the live stream over there. Uh, we Actually, you sit here, Michelle, because that way I can sneak off with no one any even noticing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just fling yourself off the <laughs> seat. <laughs> um, scream. So yes, for your edification, we'll go over that one more time. Um, we're basically just going to be playing horror games oh. and uh, looking at them like designers, okay. right? Um, so does everyone want to introduce themselves, talk about their background, and talk about their interest in horror? Sure. All right. Um, I'll start. Uh, my name is Eddie Webb. I am a uh, narrative and game designer. Uh, right now, I do a lot of uh, consulting work with other companies as an independent contractor. Uh, but in a past life, many, many years ago, um, I was the line developer for Vampire the Masquerade, White Wolf, and also I worked on the World of Darkness MMO, the late lamented World of Darkness MMO. <laughs> Thank you for my childhood. <laughs> and now I feel old. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I played a lot of Vampire growing up. It was the best. So did I. It was good. Um, <laughs> what are the odds? Yeah. So my name's Michelle. I'm a designer. Um, I used to consult for a living, but now I work for Oxide Games as their lead designer for a super, super project I can't talk about. Um, I don't actually play a lot of horror games because I'm a weenie butt. Awesome. <laughs> but see, that's so you're the best person. <laughs> exactly. I remember playing Devil May Cry when it first came out and being fucking terrified of the puppet thing. <laughs> This is horrible. Uh, and now we're all nice and blue. This oh, is this good. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to the like uh, flashlight yeah. underneath. Yeah. This is good. I like it. Um, I'm James Portnell. I write a show called Extra Credits. I have worked on a lot of games, a couple of horror games, um, and really my fascination with horror is I was like, my life's too good. I need it to be worse, you know? <laughs> uh, no, seriously though, uh, Almost all games are power fantasies that we release today, at least especially AAA games. The interesting thing about horror games is they can't be sort of by definition or they don't work as horror games. Right. So they're one of the few games to explore a different emotion uh, in the AAA world. And so I just love this idea of exploring an emotional set, an emotional range outside of that traditional power fantasy. And I'm Andrew Greenberg, and uh, at least a decade before Eddie Webb's decades ago, uh, I made so the mistake. Decades. I made the mistake of being the original vampire developer for <laughs> White Wolf back from '90 to '95, <laughs> and worked on the original uh, Werewolf, and did the original Magic System for Mage, and worked on the original Wraith. And all that kind. And we did the Street Fighter role-playing game as well. Which was amazing! Uh, <laughs> but uh, we had a great love of uh, horror going into it, and uh, which was good because the company was horrible. And, uh, and, but in addition, as uh, James says, uh, we talk about a lot of marketing people love to talk about games as, as being uh, wish fulfillment for the gamers. I find that to be BS a lot. I think it's we like to explore a lot of different options and possibilities, but yep. it is a marketing trope within our industry that games are wish fulfillment. And what we did with uh, the World of Darkness was we wanted to do wish fulfillment with a whole lot of constraints. Look at everything you can do and then constrain it even more and, yep. and experience life within a lot more power and a lot more limits all tied together. And I think it works very well. And I think that's one of the best parts about, uh, about horror games is both the power and the limits that you get on them as players yep. and you have to deal with the, with the NPCs as well. And for anybody who doesn't know, we're going to be playing Visage. It just came out. Um, how many of you have played or at least heard of PT? 
All right, good. That's most of the room. Uh, Visage is the spiritual successor to PT. PT was the uh, theoretic revival of the Silent Hill series. And it had you walking through one house um, as sort of worse and worse things happened in that, in that tiny space. Um, that fell apart. Visage is a lot of the people who, I, if memory serves, a lot of people who worked on that moved over to this project um, to see if they could deliver a full experience after that project got canceled. So, with that, and I, I say that because also, as playing as a designer, one of the important things to do is to actually know who made the thing and right. why, the right? Context. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Context is important. Okay. None of us have seen this or played this, so it's going to be completely new to all of us. You know what helps are? Window security alerts. <laughs> <laughs> I feel secure. I feel <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god, that's a great sign. Ooh, Wait a minute, it's going see. fine on theirs. That's crazy. We're getting, We're getting a very different... Y'all gotta see this. Yeah, yeah this I don't know how... And screw me! Yeah. <laughs> that's, that is seizure-inducing. Yeah, that is. That's really bad. That is something that I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to stare at. Let's... <laughs> Make sure the that is not... Is Maybe try restarting it. <laughs> I believe we are going to... Music's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm going to tab out. Oh, wait, there we go. That's hey, cool. I'm going to blame Windows Defender. Windows Defender is a much better game. <laughs> Windows Defender is the best game. Uh, it's the most horrific game. <laughs> I'm always scared of it. Right. Windows Defender. <laughs> Uh, I am thoroughly... Allow access. Allow access. All right, good. Now we've gotten rid of that. Um, right. Next, I'm going to turn up the volume just a tad, so because I, in horror, I find sound yep. for its emotional value to be very important. Um, and so I'm going to make sure we can actually... Well, that's a, that's a good interview, because since I actually have hearing loss, I have very strong opinions about how necessary sound is. So. Oh, interesting. Do yeah. tell. Um, so, uh, when I first started working on the world of XMMO, we were trying to find other horror games as touchdowns, right? Um, and one of the things, first ones at the time, this is like 2008, 2009, was Left 4 Dead. That was a big right. game. Right. Um, and the way Left 4 Dead is designed, he said, you can't play the game if you don't know where the sounds the zombies are coming right. from. So when I played it, I was like, I don't understand. This is a really hard kind of crappy zombie game. <laughs> and my friend's like, oh my god, it's amazing. It's like, no, I'm not seeing it. And it, it took like 20 minutes of us talking through it before they said, oh, it's the sounds that you're not hearing. So to them, that added, that made the whole experience, I mean, to me, it just made the whole game kind of flat because it's like, okay, I'm getting jumped again. That's, that's, that's awful. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, uh, it, it, it is important, and I think it is, is valuable to set the atmosphere, but if a horror game relies on sounds, then you're just shutting out a whole bunch of uh, potential customers. But it's funny, because this was an original complaint about games like Seventh Guest and Alone in the Dark and the like not taking full advantage of what they could do with sound even then. Agreed, yeah. It, it, is, it is kind of a catch-22. Um, uh, it, uh, it's a sound and audio design is, is a very kind of touchy subject, and for horror, and for, and for serious games, I'll say, but any game trying to draw serious emotion out of it, sound is a big component, but you have to make sure that you're not putting too much weight on it, because then the game collapses if you're turning sound off because you can't have audio in the house, or, or you're because deaf. you're disabled. I mean, yeah. 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 And I mean, there should always be those accessibility options. I mean, I right. think that it's interesting because on the one hand, should you be using sound to indicate gameplay elements? Absolutely. But that can't all be your only way. They should right? reinforce yeah. game right. elements. They should not replace game elements. Right. That's my particular metric. Um, Overwatch is also bad about this particular point. So Overwatch is very interesting because they rely on sound so heavily. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows, but in Overwatch, the bigger a threat is, the more damage it does, the more sound it makes. Yes. And so a Widowmaker silenced gun shell going by you is actually substantially louder than something like a Reaper shotgun. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, if you're not getting those audio cues, it, the game's a lot harder. Yeah. As a side note, this is exactly how designers do. We have not even started the fucking game yet. Right. <laughs> we're going to see I am proud. <laughs> We opened the game. <laughs> but to be fair, we've gotten really far. That's actually further than we usually get. Um, so, uh, the next thing I do, um, I actually want to talk about the literally opening visual, right? Because the, yep. the opening screen sets the tone. Yeah. Um, are those children's shoes? They are. See, that's done fucked up. Right, right. So there you go. I thought there, they were clown shoes. That's not okay either. <laughs> Child clowns. Oh! 
<laughs> well, I mean, Andrew is clown shoes, but it's a separate. <laughs> uh, so right, so we got that immediate moment where as soon as you recognize what that is, you know this is bad. Yeah, but there's but there's little raindrops. You got the little solo piano. It's like, yep, that's all they I need. You done did something terrible. I don't have to play anymore. Yeah, but then what font is that for new game? Come on, it makes me look like I'm, uh, I'm looking at the shoes and then the business uh, PowerPoint that's going to go alongside of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sales side of the slideshow. I will say, though, props for not using uh, creepy children's music because that's such an overdone trope. Yeah. This is uh, close. It's close. But it's evocative of it, but not it on yeah. the nose. But it, it is the it is piano music. It is yeah. definitely like when and you it's said. It's very simple. It's the high register piano. Right. When you have children's toys, it's always a higher register. Like, yep. ding, 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 ding. I would like right. a few more bars before it looped. I'm going to complain a little bit about their rain effects. I mean, I know we're in uh, in early access, and I'm sure it will get better. I'm sure this is a placeholder screen as well. Uh, but it being simply lines, I think there are ways that maybe even in leaving that out and just letting the camera shake a little bit could be more effective. Right. And now speaking for the developer, nobody's going to sit at the damn intro screen for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and yet here we are. <laughs> and yet, thanks to the internet and a million people playing your game, there is one person who's going to go on the forums and be like, oh my god, the rain effects on the opening screen. And then everybody else will be, and then you'll start getting your e inbox filled with the rain. And people were like, complaining oh about the puddle size in Spider-Man game. Oh yeah. 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 We might have complained about that in the office. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing I do, other before we even jump into the game, is I actually go to the options menu because the options menu tells you the things that the designers couldn't decide a best option for. Yep. And some of them are really obvious, right? Like uh, brightness, different monitors. There is no fixed best brightness, but sometimes you see weird stuff in these things, um, and so I just always take Ooh, two monitor. That's interesting. Oh. Oh, interesting that it's actually set for that, too. Yeah. Huh. That is interesting. I haven't seen that before ever. No. Yeah, especially, and that's not what I expect in a horror game. Yeah. Like, there are a few games where I could see that. But let's see the general tab. Okay. So easy. easy. So, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yep. <laughs> By the way, if you're a designer, make subtitles on default, please. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> Ablest bastards. So now right? I'm. Oh, yeah. So I'm really curious to see what font they use for subtitles because it yes. kills me when you're just oh, like no. plain white, and then there's that moment where something bright happens. Yes, you can't read them. Right. Uh, yep. And while we're looking at this, I've just been told it's now for sale on Steam at 20% off. <laughs> Second <laughs> ad of the night. Uh, Control tutorial UI. Is that true? Oh, so you. The, I think that's the amount of UI is under Are you, you yet? During the tutorial, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, and then audio. Well, Very simple. Helpful. Okay. Some of these things may change as we get further into the game, but all right. So is anyone else bothered by the lack of icons here? Am I the only one that old thinking that there has to be icons yes. even here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you asked the question. <laughs> um, and I mean, I do, I certainly think this bar on the left, this is very placeholder. Yeah. And that's totally okay, right? Like, it's great. I don't, I don't think that's going to exist. I don't think that, I, I think if they're going for a minimalist look, then they have to actually remove that bar as well to give you the minimal. Yeah. Well, and I think no matter what, their font's eventually going to match their actual yeah. brand yeah. font. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So now that we've nitpicked the opening screen, <laughs> let's nitpick the game. Um, so, and you'll have to forgive, uh, being designers... Wait, wait, you haven't looked at the credits yet. I never play a game without looking at the credits. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, Twitch, I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> the president-level designer, I like Jonathan. I wonder how designers analyze games, they say. This will be fun, they say. You know what's weird? I don't know what I'm up for. <laughs> Luckily, we're not actually... Sooner or later, one of us is going to be like, oh, I know that guy. I know, right, right, yeah. Know one of them. Right. <laughs> Uh, there's apparently voice acting. Oh my god, a lot of voice actors. Oh, look at all that people. Right, there's a lot going on. Uh, uh, hey, Stephanie Poo. Female Poo. remnants Poo. raise me. Michael Way. Bridge and Tom Bridge. Yes. Okay, I, I'm in. I'm in. Whatever team is, I'm in now. I Ethan Gallardo. I wonder if it's the same guy. Yeah, maybe. So weird. Oh, and there's Epic. Epic. Yeah. Oh my god, what are the odds? <laughs> Um, Iron all right, and oh, guess, Unreal. guess we know what engine we're in. It's actually really useful because, especially as a designer, as a developer, you're going to look at this. All right, and we're then not you're going to see through the backers. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's Marshmallow! Mark Marshmallow! 
is shouting out to all their Twitch peeps. <laughs> um, so, but it is really useful. Like, there's things that you'll see in this that you're like, oh, they had to choose, make that design decision because they were in Unreal. Hey, Matthew right. Albert, I don't scare easily. Ah! <laughs> Horror is unique. Jake <laughs> That would be... I should do that next year. Next year we're doing that. Um, oh, I killed it. Touch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, Wait, I mean, so just who just a crunch being cut out of? Yeah, as it should be. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be the rest of the night. We're going to analyze the credits. All right. all right, are we all ready for this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's do it. No. This is just hard. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Our investigation and good resource management are your best friend. That's, that's a good point, though, is like, you know, click. reading speed. <laughs> all right, here we go. Muffled cry. I would have actually heard that I either. I didn't hear that yeah. at all. <laughs> uh-huh, Welcome to my world. Heard by that also, activate Windows prompt. A lot of times, subtitles don't do uh, audio cues. They'll do just the, just the language. The, the sp- yeah, parts doesn't don't that suck in a horror so game where suddenly your Skype will pop up? Yeah. Mom's calling or something like that. Say, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Someone's online. Oh, We're starting out with a gun. Yeah. Check off. That someone's going to fire that gun by the third act. I no, think we're not waiting until the third act. Yeah. <laughs> it's a video. Game. Okay, right. Gee, I wonder what we could do with that. He or she. Oh, There's a person. Oh, God. We knew we do this. So I actually don't know the content of this game. <laughs> I hope that this is okay. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs> this is going to be great. This is going to be fine. There's no problems. We've whatsoever. been 18 and up on our stream since the rant began. Okay, good. Yay! Um, interesting that, that they haven't pulled the subtitle from the book right off yet. Right. So that's, I hope that's really accessing. Well, and we're getting a lot of time in this moment. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm... Oh, oh hey. I'm glad that they're willing to take time, but I'm also not sure that... I, I'm not getting any sense of what the game is out of all of this. Right. And I'm also not... The initial moment, see the gun, see the legs of the person... I'm concerned, but I'm not sure actually they're building anything with. I have no, I have no emotional investment in anything happening in right. the scene, like so it's just. just you, taking... Are you watching something else? Right, exactly. Right. So I'm still whining about the fact that I don't like the reloading sound effect, and I've got better reloading sound effects in my library than they have. Yeah. To be fair, some of the sound effects are not great. Okay, now, now. So that was a good reveal moment, yes. right? That was good. And it was subtle because it kind of just bounced over. It's like, oh, there's more people here. And one of them's a kid. This is going to be awesome. Good job building it. I do like the building of this. Also, it's very cinematic. Uh, we're, we're getting a sense of what the gore level's going to be because they're pulling out of focus with the bullet hits. Not that one that is. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to say something. But, so I think that's the right. We've got this out there. It's also the smallest child, so the biggest impact. Yeah. And we get this. I do love the camera work there, right? Right, yeah. Like them going out of focus so many times not only hides the gore level, but also gives us a sense of the mental state of the person doing it. Well, yeah, and then it makes you think it's much worse too because your imagination is built right, right. far worse than whatever they're in. And, and finally, it also gives a kinetic feel to it because it, it's always when the gun goes off, so it goes out of focus. You like the camera itself being shaken, so you, your brain fills in a kinetic moment. Interestingly, I'm Scratch. not touching anything right now. Yeah, this is all just cinematic. cinematic. Oh, there were some yeah. scratches on the floor. That was interesting. So now we're live. That's kind yeah. of barf-inducing. <laughs> um, all right. So we can't go back. Can't go back. All right. So who's going to bet? Are you uh, someone coming to rescue them? Are you one of the victims who escaped? Or are you the murderer? Or Why are you all three? Right. <laughs> Why not all of them? <laughs> all right. So I've played those games before. What's interesting is I come out here, right, and we look at my opening uh, sort of vision cone. Mm-hmm. I don't actually see this. I think they're trying to direct the player down to that area first. Right. Right. Weirdly, I also don't see this. Um, you would think that would be more. There would be more. Like maybe when you walk through the door, you would have seen that. Yeah. Right. I. Mm-hmm. I would have thought I had a little bit more of this because uh, I have a feeling the religious symbolism is going to be important in right. this. The whole virgin witch child thing with the previous scene, like just was, uh, was obviously there was a mother with children. Was yes. Like, was like, yeah. yeah. 
And uh, just also another thing to think about is the name of the game, right? Um, over the course of this, why did they call it Visage? Um, but of course, me seeing the red room with the candles, the first I am heading this way. Um, one thing I will oh, mention, oh. however, is um, this is a good point to talk about camera placement. Because you don't have control of the camera in a first-person perspective, um, the choices you make when you exit the, the uh, screen into giving a player control, that does set a tone in perspective. I'm sorry. No, we're just like, <laughs> Look at how the, the camera door. works. Yeah, oh. yeah. Watch this. Blurry. Focused. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, weird. That is Blurry. Weird. Focused. So what do you think it is? So it's the so Blurry. we're we're ray casting. I'm hit the ray's hitting yeah. the door. So okay, so now we know basically how the camera works in this. Which That's is really interesting. I mean it's not it's not bad, but already we're seeing it break down a little bit because you shouldn't be putting that much narrative emphasis on the edge of the door. But that's what the game is doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's an interesting camera system because what they really want is they want anything in the distance that you're not looking directly at. Right. They want you. They want your focus. They want to mimic that first scene. Right. right? Yeah. And so it's a good idea, but it's, it's weird that right away it's already breaking down. A right. Bit. Although I think theoretically you weren't supposed to notice it this early. That's true. Um, we are the edge case. Yeah. One of the things that's also really interesting, since you guys aren't playing, you can't see. So I literally have to hold E, and then I can swing the door with I my like mouse, um, which that is neat. means that we've got a heavily like physics-based thing yeah. going on. I'm going to be able to manipulate lots of stuff. But it's also a little awkward, right? That's not necessarily bad in a horror experience. If if I have to run away from somebody and then I can't get to a door and I oh my god, I have to hold E and then yeah. manually open the door. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's actually good because um, like we talked about a little bit uh, in the pre-show, I think it was, or maybe it was right at the top, about how it's not a power fantasy. Yeah. And so if you as the player are feeling you're awkward, panicking. making you're right. really panicking. Yeah. So like, what, yeah. what, what, push, oh my god, then you're starting to feel that panic that the mm -hmm. character is supposed to be feeling. Yeah. Um, and so I like not, the visual mapping of the actual physical movement. Yeah, like yeah. You yeah, actually I, have I, to do it. It's not just a button press. Yeah, I'm so nice. tired of the door just. Eh, eh, yeah, and yeah. Right. You, you can feel the squeak. I really Which like means that you're probably, like, for example, the drawers, you probably would pull those open. Right, that's why I'm, I'm doing that yep. right now. Yeah. Um, What'd you do? Progress room. What? what? Well, that this, broke the this mood. This room is a hub. <laughs> so, unfortunately, and I think I'm sure they're going to get rid of these tutorials later on, but it's. Very immersion, uh, so immersion sense of mood is very important in a horror experience. It's very immersion breaking to basically remind me that I'm playing a game. Um, you clear, you have to. That doesn't mean you can't do the tutorial. In fact, you still have to give all the tutorial information. But we need to find ways that are a little bit less picture to picture. Right? This is hey, guess what? Let me tell you about this game you're playing. Right. Mm -hmm. Either that needs to be before this experience or. I feel like even if you just put the word in the bar, then like just like. Suddenly, at the bottom of the screen would have been better than that. Yeah. Or oh. even just a little icon saying, hey, story, I'll click on this to get more yeah. information. Oh, then nice. you can choose to go into mm -hmm. it as opposed to Taking the camera control away from the player is oh, always Now, wait terrible. a minute, wait. wait There's what? a joke I used to make. Gary Gygax put out a game well after D&D &D called Dangerous Journeys where they defined all the weapons. One of yep. the weapons he defined was a rock. And it was like an igneous, massive, semitic, whatever. And they actually defined rock. Now now why defining are you telling me candles are stationary lights? Kids these days. <laughs> <laughs> With a lighter. With a lighter. I do actually remember spending a lot of time playing now, with those lighters, so you know. <laughs> no, they were fun, and then you'd burn your finger. I will say that one thing, so a few things you're telling me, though, Oops. possibly. Oh, I actually didn't I didn't read that is, um, <laughs> There may be different kinds of lights. Right. And the fact the lighter is a relevant item we have to find. So, I mean, there's some subtle clues that are actually put into what seems to be extremely rudimentary text. Well, it may also be a rudimentary text. The other thing that I liked about this is I have to manually light it, right? Mm -hmm. And so I have to get a lighter to light this thing. And I have this sneaking suspicion that that also means they can go out. Yep. Yeah, right. they, they said that. Yeah. that was oh, I text. missed that at the bottom of the text. The bottom of the text. Candles can go out. That tells you even <laughs> how, how... If you move uh, around with them. And that's great, right? Because that means that while holding a candle, I like that mechanic. While holding a candle, I have to move slow because otherwise it'll go out. Right. Mm -hmm. But you can put time pressure, you can put the monster, you can put the scary sounds behind me. And now I have to choose between having a source of illumination and getting away. Right. 
But Which, tutorial? I want to discover that when I won't die. I want to. Oh, right. a candle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was telling you that. It would Wait, be cool I to, moved and it went out. Oh. Right, yeah. That, that, uh, that should have been edu done through gameplay as opposed to by telling. Yeah. That, that's the case of telling to the show. So, so that is not what are you doing? super great. <laughs> <laughs> so, by the way, as my role as a design consultant, one of the things I'm, I'm tasked with doing always is breaking people's games. This is yeah. a moment. Right? We're painting. Yay. Oh. All right. So that tells me this was a problem. That's how they solved it. <laughs> um, so, and right, we're in early access, so I don't mean... Yeah. We haven't defined that you're not a ghost. That's <laughs> true. It's true. That's true. Good point, because there's no hands or anything. So, can I make a confession? I actually don't know how to set this candle down. <laughs> I want to see if you can light it off the other candle. Yeah. <laughs> it might... Wait, wait. Store obtain. Candle obtained. Yeah. I still don't know how to drop it, but I now know how to put it in my pocket. <laughs> you, you can keep it closer to you, but you can get rid of it yet. Right. Uh, oh, wait, can I examine oh, wait, there's, it? Oh, there's an inventory down there? Yeah, inventory. Yes. Wait, uh, I don't think the examine thing is Did you just go all soft about an inventory system? She's a game designer. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a spreadsheet, so I got it. <laughs> Oh, hey, I found a return Oh, Russian Nothing Doll, that's creepy. Need to interact. Oh, the eyes burned out. That's a great thing. Oh, ah! oh what? I got achievements lost. So, can I ask you guys, how do you feel about achievement in horror experiences? That's the version in front of me. No. I think so, So, uh, uh, I, I feel like... On some level, we That's we we are we are into, we don't playing a game. We are active with this game, and so if gaming elements come up, it depends on how they come up. But the fact that their sheer existence is not inherently a problem. I agree with that. Although I would rather they point me towards other interesting things. Right. Um, like if I got achievements at when I got to the end of the game, and then I realized, mm -hmm. oh, there are other endings. Right. Yeah. But let's also talk so about... So there are like chapters or something and say, boom, sure. there's achievements. But certainly not in the middle of the gameplay for this. Yeah. This isn't a problem. And let's talk about why you're doing them. You want that tag on Steam that says achievements, uh, Steam achievements in game, because a lot of people will buy based on that. But the trouble is, when you do it, every time you achieve an achievement, Steam's going to pop that notice yep. up for you in mid-game, right. and it's going to be breaking. So, so another easy. option would be to, ha to have the game itself say, hey, do you want to mute achievement pop-ups for the duration of this game or whatever? I've only launched one Steam title. I don't remember being able to... How easy that is. The, the, but, you know, but, you, but you can also tell people how to turn it off. There's a way to yeah. turn it off. Okay. I don't remember oh, how right. it is. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So say, hey, if you want to turn this off. So these are old people. Well, we'll go back, go back, go back. Hey, cell phones off. They're <laughs> live streaming this. Um, so when you're looking at the picture, there was a glow on there. So I think, I think that's the like, like the light. It's yeah, the, the specularity from the other light that's going to be around the corner, which yeah. is interesting, right? Because we've got a light over all the way around the corner. It's reflecting off cabinet one, cabinet two, and hitting yeah. okay. this. Hint. Okay. Hint to avoid standing in the dark too long. Uh, also, there is a phone ringing. The subtitles have not mentioned the phone ringing, no. so I'm already down on them. Yeah. Also, did you see the UI that just popped up? Yeah, the bottom left in the dark too long. Yeah. No, the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, oh yeah, there's a brain, yeah. yeah. No, you're wow. right. That is so. This is your brain on horror. But on the flip side, there's a flashing light in the phone, so I give them that. See, I'm too busy looking at the ugly tulip lights on the fan. <laughs> no one buys fans like that anymore. What the light source? Oh, is that? It's that that's reflecting. Okay, got it. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Light source is more important. <laughs> Wait, can I? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? I want to. It says E to interact. Oh, I can turn them. Looks like. A little bit. Oh, no, I just have to wait, and I can do the whole thing. Uh, so you have to hold it and crush it. Some dirty no, I have oh, to okay. not hold it, actually, is exactly what happened. Okay, so now, now, now you're two different messages yeah. on the interface. Sometimes I hold it and sometimes I don't. Yeah, I wish that was a physical interaction like that. That would have been nice. Yeah. Should I get this phone? I suppose. Um, Maybe well, I, I want to pull this phone off, too. I think it's going to be easy to interact. Ooh. Hello, Twain. It's Rose, your neighbor. Hello, Rose. I, I know it's late, and I know that I tend to be a little anxious about small things. I apologize for that, but I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything all right? Could you call me just to let me know everything's fine? All right. Bye-bye. So, I'm going to talk about phone conversations. Yeah, that was all right, here we go. Answering the yeah. what? Right, so that this was ringing. It never went to the answering machine. That, that was, was an answering machine. <laughs> right, yeah. That was an entirely one-sided conversation. Yeah. Yes. We do. I see that actually a lot in games because we have, we want to have a silent protagonist or whatever. 
You don't need to have that be a photo. That could literally have been the answering machine. It should right. have been. Yeah, just have yeah. the blinking light there. Yeah, yeah should have been a blinking light and maybe a boop. And now I've got, I've got the question, are you a ghost or not? Are you yeah. just, are you mute? What the heck? Right. Yeah. Why do you not have a shadow? That is an interesting point. Because clearly we are ghosts. Yeah, right, this is craft beer. beer. What is that? This craft is craft beer. Craft beer. So we got good taste. Right, I was going to say, we are a refined ghost. Good. All right. We're classy. We've now acquired we the craft beer. Right? <laughs> One candle, one craft beer, please. Where's this doesn't sound like my so regular Saturday night. Right now. <laughs> so this, so all the doors are physics-based stuff. Yep, it looks like, I'm going to look at this, like, T set they have at the bottom, because that looks like a Can puzzle. Can you the books on the floor? Uh, if you can't, what type of game is this? I'm really disappointed. <laughs> it was inherently broken. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, I, that's a puzzle. Cannot yeah. grab the individual books. I feel oh. like this. Ooh, ooh. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Um, Easy to have happen, but you can fix it. I like the oh, the tees. Those are the tees. Yeah. Of course, maybe the books are supposed to float. I still don't know if you're a ghost. They could be ghost books. <laughs> <laughs> ghost books. <laughs> I got a so copy of Ray. I can. Was there sound to that? I don't think there was sound, so I can F drop things, okay. okay. No, I didn't hear you sound. F drop things. F drop things. I'm gonna F drop this bomb. <laughs> yeah. Fudge. But there's also a book on the floor. Except I didn't say fudge. So we can examine this oh, book. Oh, what's that? Which is out of ammo. A book by... Sergeant Pow Pow. Sergeant Pow Pow. I am not kidding you. That's my new Twitter handle. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie, that's always been right, Twitter this handle. This has been my prawn name forever. <laughs> Um, Can you read the blurb? It says, uh, at the very bottom, it definitely says a wonderful piece of writing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is also, looks like it's, wait, is it more expensive in U.S. dollars than in Canadian? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So we live in a World dystopic believable. future, that's what we've got. <laughs> um, and just keep this in mind, your players will. With not the designers will go into that level of detail. With, it is your players who will be doing that with everything you put in there. And so, wait, let's see. Yeah, great. Um, so, yep. Doug WD, yeah. There's zoom and zoom outs. Do. Wait. <laughs> Ghost you zoomed book. it right through. Wait, this is. So, this Ghost is zoom uh, in. Oh. To the floor. Let's zoom out. Wait, I am pressing D, right? Like, Ghost book! <laughs> Ghost book! <laughs> okay, so one of the things that's also wrong here is. Uh, zoom in, zoom out is actually W, S, S zooms in, W zooms out. I don't think we've adjusted the controls at all. Um, all yeah, and clipping is a thing, but there, that's another thing that, okay, sure, you're an And also, to be fair, that cuts usually later in the dev cycle anyway, yeah. Yeah. really, and just when you do all the physics stuff. Speaking of later in the dev cycle, um, one of the things that does bother me and take me out of the experience as a gamer is, uh, here's out of ammo the book. There's you've out of ammo the you've s made me even suggested sort of that I look at this, so I realize, oh hey, here's out of ammo. That's it again. And wait, wait a minute. Oh, oh here we have it again. Yeah. Wait, wait. We've actually got two copies in this bookshelf. If you look at the very bottom left-hand corner, um, and it's not. It's a. It's a cereal. It's, it's a. It's a series. Yeah. It's a cereal. So there's actually a cereal box. Yeah. <laughs> when, when me and my wife combined our libraries, we had like four copies of some books. You know? And I mean, confession. It's true. I have like 30 copies of Dude, but they're different. Right. Copies. Okay. We have four copies of Dude. And all. And this is Sergeant Pow Pow. It, it, it's Sergeant. Masterful writing. Oh, interesting. What? So, here's a light source that I can repair if I had had grabbed a light bulb. Although it seems to be mostly functional. I just uh, really functional. That one shops at Ikea. Uh, <laughs> can I... I can't look at this book. Damn it. Though. Although, actually, that's, that's just a point you mentioned Ikea. Um, Cause, and this is like old-person home, and then there's that Ikea. Like, right, we're starting to, but we are starting to get a sense of possible time frame. Yes, because like, some know, of those chairs look very 70s upstairs. Yeah, the phone was very 80s, yeah. but it was also very worn, so we don't know if it's modern day, yeah. actually. But we do know it wasn't a cell phone. Right. And we also know that when you pick up the phone, wait, am I still correct? No, I'm not. Like old people buy want to run faster, but you get, you've got a list of like their, the people who, yeah. and. Can you dial? <coughs> oh, that's no. the, 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 the. Um, but nobody's, nobody does that in the age of cell phones. Oh, that right. clock is old. Yeah. I had that one. Started. Yeah. Oh, what is that? But the wear on the, the furniture and whatnot it definitely implies that it's been a while. It looks like it's very yeah. dirty. Yeah. 
Okay. What's on the picture frame? Could you pick that up? So, that's a good question. Let's see. Um, I can definitely examine the picture frame. I can. I can turn it over. It's a baby. Is it? It's a kid. Yeah. Uh, sitting on a roof, looks like. Oh, is that a tent? So, oh, I, a tent, yeah. I wonder if these are all placeholder tubies. It looks like they a bought a bunch of generic. Yes. Yeah. Um, so these are letters. I really want to look at these letters. I can't, can't. yet. Mm. We've got a pretty wild Venus tri flytrap going on. Obviously, it's plastic. But all right. So now, this action is possible at the moment. Oh. I mean, cool to let you know. Hey, don't bother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Content unavailable. Okay. Early access is fine. Mm. Ah. Oh, sanity. That's a lot of text. <clears throat> sanity will affect your well, gameplay. Sanity will. This is one of those things where, so, it's weird, the more mechanics and systems that you have yeah. in a horror game, sometimes, like, the more explicitly system-y they are, I would almost rather this just happen without me having as much of a UI element right. or mm -hmm. a known path back. Like, I will eventually yeah. figure out that stay in the light, right? Well, and also, why do you have to call sanity? There's, there, I mean, it, it's, yeah. it's... This makes me think Lovecraft immediately when I see that. This makes right. me think uh, Eternal Darkness. Yeah, it, 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 it's, Wait, it's been so done. Wait, introduce this mechanic. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't get credit. Yeah, Sandy to Peterson. But, I mean, you, you could have just called the stress, and it had the exact same mechanical benefit. Mm -hmm. doesn't have the same baggage with it. Yeah. All right, so let's keep moving on. Um, I'm hoping, though, if you're going to give me uh, something like that, you better have the payoff, right? Yeah, yeah. When my sanity starts to drop, it may, it better not just be a health meter. Mm -hmm. right. Like, weird things better start going on. Right. Like everybody here play Call of Cthulhu tabletop? Let's do make sure of that. Yeah. Uh, whoa, oh my god. All of you people should learn. You gotta start like, changing that. Look, look, it is the best role-playing game where your goal <laughs> is to die or go crazy okay, guys, the best. In the horror game, paranormal events will occur. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. I'm not. I'm, uh. There's a lot that I'm willing to chalk up to being early access, but like. This is. Kind of, I, yeah, this is a design pattern that they're using is modal window to wall of text. Yeah. And, 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 I'm worried that this may actually be the tutorial. Now, remember, I earlier there was a slider of the minimized UI, so maybe that's what they're referring to about the tutorial UI. <laughs> so you may be able to reduce this so it's not as intrusive. But, I wonder if it's that or the bottom bar that's like every time I look at something. I hope it is this. I hope it is. Because the alternative is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> this one, though, like slightly worries me because I feel like by popping this up, in some ways it says you fundamentally don't understand the game that you're presenting, right? right. Like, this is something the player needs to experience and mm -hmm. not be right, told. Exactly. And, and, and this is something that bothers me a lot is... Show, don't tell. Yes, but, show. no, Even better do. It's a show. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but also, um, just the fact that don't treat your audience intelligently, and this game is not treating us intelligently at all. No. Well, and I think that, so, okay, also, context sensitive. Uh, I talk about this a lot, but context-sensitive stuff in your tutorials. Um, if your player is running into the wall for a minute straight, right, um, you can pop up a thing that says turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Not every player has to see that, right? Any player who understands what to do sort of inherently will never see that and then won't feel condescended mm -hmm. to. Right. If you're standing in the middle of a room after a second, they say, oh, by the way, WASD to move. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but if, okay. every, if people say, oh, I'm standing in the room, I push W, then you don't need to see that. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you have that WASD to move for for all the people who may not have even played a game before, right? right? Because they exist, yeah. That mean, doesn't mean you have to do it this way, where everyone, you're telling everyone everything. Right. Um, and when you're playtesting, observe your player. You can actually tell what player behaviors imply what knowledge they don't have that they need, and build your context-sensitive uh, tutorials around that. All right, onward. So far, lots of locked doors. Oh, yep. I heard footsteps, we're gonna do this. You did? I did two, two times. Maybe with someone else. Oh, hey, it's radio. I believe we were actually in Riverdale, which is also. Wait, really? Archie? Oh, yeah. It's, this is the Archie verse. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't the opening tell you that? Yeah, that's basically. I would have done if I was Archie. Um, yeah. All right, so we got a lot of different coats, <laughs> but I do feel yeah, we're we're definitely seeing that you shouldn't, you aren't actually alone in here. Lots of newspapers. That's an interesting. Question. I really, if you're gonna give me so much stuff to examine, you better have the payoff as well. That some like of that's them a bag. There needs to be something in it. Right. <laughs> If I pick something up, I should learn something. Yeah. yeah, and of course, again, there's no shadow of your hand or anything like right. that. Right, and actually, this is a, a, a great example of that is uh, um, the, ace, the uh, uh, 
H, H Detective Series or H Attorney Series. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix Wright Series because your know, is always oh, a good. So good. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we've got the Devil's Radio. <laughs> Can you turn it off? Uh, I see. Turns back on. No, I, I, I was oh. just enjoying that moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a light. So, so now we're gonna. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I'm really sad about this. I wish we could side by side this with with PT because you're totally just thrown into that experience. Yeah. I am curious what they believe they are spiritual discussers to. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, you know, who is their target audience if they have to explain a light bulb? Yeah. <laughs> the Amish. Cat. Bird. <laughs> who are well-known Steam users. <laughs> so I kind of am hoping, like, if this has the moment where either they pull us totally out of it or, like, if in 30 seconds you go somewhere and then we pan back and it's actually someone sitting at a computer screen and they get up and then we're actually playing the experience, like, <laughs> I want this to not be real, right? Like, yeah. this is actually a brilliant genius setup if this is a setup playing on our expectations as right. players. Mm -hmm. um, but Spec Ops The Line did that really well. Spec Ops The Line, Doki Doki Literature Club, yes. did yes. really good jobs. Yes, they did. But those are very, very rare. Yes. And those were much tighter experiences yes. in some ways. Um, yeah, because so, even in Spec Ops, it got you right into the you're shooting bad guys right away because they had to sell that experience before right. they started subverting it. This is not even starting the horror experience. Again, look, another achievement. So this is something I always kind of uh, – well, I guess they did have bars on the door. When you get to a glass door and you can't go through it because you need a key. Yeah, right. First time I saw that in a game was like, I'm, I got I'm you. going like, through it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, All right. like they, with their tutorials, they've taken away any chance for me to be clever, and yeah. you feel clever as a player. It, it, it feels like it's funneling you towards a very specific yeah. channel. And we can do things like this, right? Like, I know I'm supposed to go to that room just by because the way it's light. Yeah. yeah. Right. We don't need to direct me in the... Wait, that, I mean, that's good, Linus. So I actually put the light bulb back in here, so we don't have the extra light bulb for this one. No, there's no light bulb. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there wait, there. what? Whoa! <laughs> Interesting because we didn't see it respawn. It's a ghost so light bulb. There again. So, yeah, I mean, I really want these to all be really cool, like right. moments where they're meta moments. Yeah. Right. The the weird uh, converse to that is uh, Frogwares did a, a series of Sherlock Holmes games. There's one where um, Watson would oh, always I be right behind that. you, and it's it's supposed to be just oh, so Watson's always there to turn around and ask him, but it's always creepy Watson. He's always like, yeah, he's always like, Duh. I know, right? <laughs> like, why are you so close? So it's inadvertently very scary. Oh. Somebody didn't want to look at their visage. Oh, now we know. Oh. Oh. I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, again, uh, very 80s level yeah. of bottling. So. Yeah, it is. I can't collect the toothpaste. I'm very disappointed. This game is broken. You're well, seriously. Well, look at the hygiene. The pills, the, 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 pills, the razor, we got suicide now. Yeah, we do have. Uh, it looks like there's some kind of pills in the sink, so it implies an overdose. Yeah. Nobody threw the uh, hair dryer in the bathtub, thankfully. No. Uh, we can pick up these pills. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm really. Uh... <laughs> So it's like, um... That light switch is upside down. Right. That bothers me a lot. No one saw that one. <laughs> it's that way. That is the most horrifying thing I did it once. <laughs> right? I did once. <laughs> was it an accident? No, but I mean, <laughs> um, so horror games have a real problem with uh, using bad mental health cliches as a, way, yes. as a cheap way to do horror. Yes. And I really think we need to stop doing it as yes. an industry. Yes. Um, but... Better living through chem chemistry. Yeah, Eddie, I mean... Um, some people ding like Arkham Asylum. I think that's not entirely fair because that's literally the whole point of the game. But yeah. still, lots of the if you take your pills, then your sanity goes away. It's like that's eh, pretty neuronormative. I'm not you know. Now a game like Redneck Rampage, it used alcohol for curing. Now we're that, talking. That <laughs> definitely reinforces my point. Late night, 18 plus stream. Oh, anyway, and we are streaming on YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch as Georgia Game Dev. So if you're not already uh, following us, do so. Was there anything in the code? Oh! Third ad, by the way. Okay, so the lights went out, or is that a glitch? I think the lights were intended to go out there. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to assume I'm, I'm, so. I'll give you the credit on that one, but... And we found I, the kids. Are. I would yeah. like to assume so, because I think that clearly there's something horrific around the children, because right. yeah. which is also another thing that we... 
it, utilize a little it's bit kind too of much. cheap because it's easy. It's an easy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Easy now available. We, we, we have an instinctual reaction towards endangering or mm -hmm. doing horrible things to kids. We just, so. we just got another time uh, era clue with now available yeah, with on the home video. Well, there's now available on home video. Oh, oh, oh that's a good yeah. point. Yeah. So now I will say uh, up here. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. Oh. good eye. Um, I, I, I do like in media res games where oh. you have to learn what's going on. Like the retrovision logo. Your sanity is decreasing yeah. fast. Ah, and the door is like open. Okay, now it did say your sanity is decreasing yep. and weird things starting to happen. So it does. So it is more than just the meter. So that's at least is a good sign. Yes. It and looks like the game is being distorted by. Your, your sanity. Now, here's something, though, that I always uh, find is important. You do want to give players additional clues of this other than just their hit points start going down. Yeah. Right. You want that shake. You want that sound effect. Something boing. You're taking damage even in sanity. Yeah. In this case, uh, the, the, the icon changed color, and yeah. there was the, the clock sound, so it gave you something. Sure. I think you could use a little bit more, but... Well, it's interesting in playing one of these games on PC rather than console, because in console, we have the rumble. Yes. Yeah, yeah, rumble back, yeah. Like that small amount of haptics is a huge. Uh... <laughs> You're playing a cat. <laughs> okay, so now. Fair, I would play this game as a cat. This right? is amazing. Bye! <laughs> Ghost boxes! Ghost boxes! Okay! Knock all those glasses off the shelf! Right, exactly! That's it, you're a cat. Uh -huh. Obviously, that's what this game is about. It's so I do feel like rewarding none of my exploration so far has really because I, yeah. like gone home right like yeah. I actually oh, yeah. like that I mean and even as a horror experience that was a better more tense experience because uh, I'm trying to look at this whole environment right. and. Parse. Yeah, even though going home, literally nothing happens. Right. It, 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 is, a, it is a house exploration. To really Spoiler! <laughs> but it's wonderful. But it's wonderful. It's amazing. Uh, but you're right. It, it, only thing I've gotten from this is light switches, doors, and light bulbs. One thing I like that they're doing is how cramped they're making this. So one thing we that often nice. do with the Unreal Engine is you have big spaces no, that's good because you don't want people yeah. getting caught on corners. So we make rooms that are Lights flickering now. Yeah. Uh, based on real. And yeah. this one's really well, behind you. Okay. taking the opposite approach. Yeah, which is good because it makes you panic because you're like getting closed and then closed and you can't right. move. Right, you can't go very many places. Yeah, I see walls and also little things like because you can see the walls on both sides of the screen. Yeah, it gives you that little tunnel vision. You're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it is a nice thing. But the problem with this core mechanic of oh, come back here, lights. So I'm noticing that apparently lights have a, a time limit. Yeah, it might be why the candles are important. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. something I have a complaint about is a long, long ago uh, reporter is when you have uh, newspaper headlines or articles that do not file, follow basic journalistic standards. Yes. <laughs> you, mean, so, you mean this this sheet right here? Go down to the headline, yeah, yeah. Okay, what go is down to the headline. Let me see if it's I on can... three lines. What? Well, a, n yeah, the, 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 it, it's completely off from how you, you notice how in a headline, you'll try and it'll line up the end somewhat close. Yeah. These is, this oh, yeah, it's not justify. Is, it's second, the, uh, the capitalization is off. Health director is both capitalized and retired from business after 45 years. Director is only capitalized in front of a name or like when it's the Pope. If yeah. it's just saying a position like game designer or director, mm -hmm. it's lowercase. So for Grimmer. someone who's done. Who, yeah, any of us who got it right, that suddenly pulls you out of it. That's not a real paper. Yeah. The, so I also have this issue where. Okay, they've made opening drawers and moving doors tedious. That's totally okay in a horror game, except now you're going to have me do it 70 times and not really... <laughs> and so, no rewards. Right, and you yeah. want me to be exploring, but you've made exploring itself really awkward and tedious? That makes this much harder. And then also with lights going out. I mean, I get what they're trying to do here, but... If I was doing something substantial, wow, like I going out, all the thing. plugs are upside down. Where are we in? <laughs> There's the Australia joke. I was waiting for it. <laughs> well, well, well played, sir. It's upside down because if you have it, if it comes down, it's uh, she's going to short itself out. When you go the other way, it's it's an electronic. All right, there's oh. an actual valid reason for the plugs being upside down based like on how we're used to. Is that how you store your safe at home? That's totally where I keep yes. mine. On, on top of the very flimsy wooden thing, yes, the heavy metal safe. So what are the other... No, nope, we've noticed that. None of the lights... And I feel bad because I did not want to come into this MST3K in this game. But... Right, no, I didn't either. I was actually really hoping because I've been looking for good psychological horror for a yeah. while. 
and I haven't found any really good ones for for some time. Mm -hmm. I think, but this is why we design or review it. I mean, the elements are there. They're just doing things to break the immersion. What yeah. is that? I'm going to assume uh, seashells. I was like, macaroons. Oh, there we go. Dude, I want a macaroon tree. Right? <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> I mean, who does It's all on that fantasy. Um, I like this. I, I like This is such a weird line of text that it's locked. Nothing indicates which key, which key unlocks it, implying that all those other doors which say, you need the basement key to unlock it that we've already yeah. passed. Like something on the door tells me that. Basement key. <laughs> now, I mean... To give, it, to give it credit, it's possible that if we're in an amnesia situation, so sure. maybe we are aware of the fact that well, I, I, I some, on some level recognize this door goes to the basement, so yeah. I don't need the basement key. Nothing in the game has given me the, status, the, the belief that it's being that clever. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I'm willing to give a lot of credence to games if they prove to me up front, hey, we're trying to be clever here, give us a moment. Mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to buy that respect as a design. Yeah. Um, and you have to get the players to trust you because if the game is lying to you on some level, you have to establish a level of trust before you can start doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and the game's not quite building up to that yet. Pills are a good thing, apparently. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're doing this. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> I am dual wielding here. <laughs> Back off, man. I have medication to the light bulb. I'm ready. Saturday night. <laughs> Wait, is that a joint? I would argue, but you're probably right. Oh, we found a lighter. Hey, lighters. That's a limited amount of time. They will not prevent stress buildup. Did I just mention the... No. They can also light candles. So... They will, so one thing that's really interesting here is either those are two different systems or they've used two different words to to refer to the same system. Yeah, right, that's and that's insane. my frustration because my, my I, I'm early I, alpha. I will, uh, I will absolutely right. give them they've changed um, names. Also, if I remember correctly, this team is not English native, so there okay. may be some other it's issues in that respect. Team. It does right. look like a French okay. team based on name. Yeah. Uh, could uh, be also, worse. Could also be in the headline, you point. I saw an, a, 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 a possession error that's pretty common in in. Uh, 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 they need to hire Tobe Sexton as our localization expert. Fourth ad of the street. No. All right, I'm trying to work out this. Okay, hand one. You have a gun. No, it's lighter. Wait, what? That's light. Hand light. Two. Now, the lighter's out of focus. That was interesting. Wait, wait. Wait. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I, like, do this whole, like, there we go. Uh -huh. That needs the animation. Okay. No, it needs free bird, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, good night, Aww. candle. Wow, well, that was. <laughs> so after all this time, that... the candle. Candle betrayed you. No. Not repeating that joke for the stream. <laughs> I'm really, like, I'm opening all these things. You've incentivized me to explore. Right. And like, I'm not one for jump scares, but like. You're uh, waiting for it. Like, when's it going to happen? When's it gonna... I would like one now, please. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also, I would argue that it's incentivizing you. It, it's it's literally the only thing you can do that's meaningful right now. Right. Yeah. So it's not incentivizing Aww. you. It's giving you... Ghost Panda! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Interesting. Wait, that's what? key inventory. Ah, so it's not an inventory of keys. A new chapter. A key inventory. An right. insidious? An insidious friend. Oh, wait. No, put it away here later. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Go back to double wielding Valium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to a new chapter. It's the little girl. Okay. Don't assume gender. <laughs> that's, that's totally fair. Um, Lucy could be short for it, Lucas. And it is. I I believe. Let me put it this way. I believe it to be the person who was the second to last who was murdered at the beginning. Right. Um, but yes. No. I think that is totally. Absolutely correct. That's terrifying. That's what the fuck is that? We know who did it. Auto saving. That's a good thing. What the shit? <laughs> All right. Okay, so no child would sleep with that in their room staring at them. <laughs> Don't judge. What, one thing I want to also mention, um, a, bad, a bad design problem with horror games, we just saw, is it immediately said auto saving, and that is a cue to gamers saying something shit is about, about to go down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is a bad broadcasting of something bad about to happen. So you can actually avoid that by having your auto save. I mean, even if you want to show it on there by having your auto save timed rather than yes yeah. be on a but right now it's timer. clearly event based right. kid didn't keep much stuff <laughs> Mike, <laughs> Mike, no, nothing. they didn't want to stay in their room I'm, I'm pretty sure that actually no human stacks looks like that killer. you're correct 
and it's good for reference. Yeah. All right, so there's not a lot. So that was the chapter. All right. Did anything change? I think you're sliding down the banister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no there, there's no bounce. I know it's not. Uh, it's not it's not bad. It's just a, a, a crave. Crave session. Oh, I'm losing sanity. Stress. I'm losing sanity. Basement key. Open oh, Again, uh, not not comment for non-native English speakers. Though some use quotes as emphasis as opposed to. That drives me crazy. Yeah. And that's not available. <laughs> so apparently, all the scary stuff's not available yet. All right. So we didn't go down here. Right. Who designed this house layout? I've actually been wondering that too. Also, the murderer. it's one of those things where sometimes in video games you're like, also these people have to be really rich. This is, this a, is a big lot. house. Right, they're in the middle of some, at least some town, right? This is a big yeah. house. Yeah. Yeah, my wife's an architect, so it's get, great getting her feedback on levels. Well, and nothing. What? And in games, we don't lay out things in any same no. manner because we, we, we're trying to direct someone through yep. generally one theory. path. Um, actually, uh, a perfect example I found of, of level design in the real world is IKEA. Yes. Um, is that IKEA is designed to take you through a very specific path and It'll take your money. Right. So, and, but if you know the shortcuts in IKEA, then it's oh, I've been through it before, so I know how to get through places yeah. faster. It rewards exploration mm -hmm. in a very literal sense. But yeah, um, when you're doing real buildings, real video game level design of real buildings does not map one on one for um, actual buildings. And sometimes that could be immersion breaking. But in horror games, that's okay. You can like a uh, uh, vampire masquerade bloodlines. Um, they have massive houses in them uh, and some massive, massive levels. But also, it's implied that reality's not quite working right in those levels, so you can kind of get away with it a bit more. Well, and I just it, something is going wrong if I notice. The fact that the level is unrealistic. Yeah. Right. Like, I mean, it, 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 when, when we go into house, it's like TARDIS levels of too big. It's okay. Yeah. Something's actually going wrong. It's not just level design going crazy. Or you haven't pushed me through it enough, right? Like, yeah. if there were more hard, like, uh, have you played the most recent Resident Evil? No, I haven't. Uh, it's actually they went back to actually being horror rather than action. Oh, it was okay. much better. Oh wow. Um, there's a lot that's ludicrous about that house, but because of all the things that are pushing you all the time through it, you never really notice. Right, whereas this one, because we have such a leisurely pace, you yeah. can't help but notice all these things. Um, and all these little things keep pushing you right out of the immersive feeling, like I'm not scared, yeah, even though right. I'm a weenie butt, because right. none of this feels real. Right, so far it's just a house with shitty electrics. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and honestly, and taste and decor. <laughs> yes. If anyone can tell me what I missed, I don't know. I am. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, just go in the girls' room and look around. Really? Okay. You said that. You said you you said that a lot of times, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> But these are very expensive. <laughs> it's Darth Vader. Knock knock. I can't put that in your key. Key clues. It just says knock knock on both sides. Oh. When I interact with it though, it doesn't do anything unless there's a this is sound. a flicker. Oh no, that's that's just. Ah. Oh, is there? Oh. Okay. It would be helpful if I had subtitles. It could tell me that. Right. Yeah. Anything? Oh. Can you knock that doll onto the floor or something? I can't interact no, with this doll no. at all, which is yeah. tragic. I'd definitely like to double wield it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Wait, no, we're back. Wait, what? Oh, house. it's a pass through closet. Okay, I see. What? Alright, so this is where I've seen this before, actually, in houses where um, it's, it's, it's two rooms share a closet. Okay. Sometimes yeah, it's also bathrooms. I've seen the bathroom. Yeah. Like, occasionally, the, yeah. Um, it's, it, the idea nope. is like boy girl room, they both share a closet. It's, it is kind of late 70s, early 80s design because of, so of so passing fads. Fad. So yeah, again, it's, it's setting a good time frame for this. Is, are you staring at something? So, wait, I saw a thing that was... Somewhere it told me there was a window to... I mean, a... Wait, there it was. Light bulb icon. This is not great. Are we pixel hunting now? Yes. yes. <laughs> Ooh, Done. Hi. This light's not broken. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> That seems broken to me. It seems to be working properly. You are lying Let's to me. Let's take the sunglasses What off. is going on? Did it get, like, super smoky in here? Uh, it says it's working properly, but... Oh, uh, I don't know what it is. Okay. All right, so now let's try this. Okay, also, if you're going to pull doors open, don't let me stand in the way of the doors. That's yeah. kind of weird. 
Teddy bear, rabbit. Is this by uh, Sergeant Pow Pow? I hope so. <laughs> That's, I'm hoping Sergeant Pow Pow for games. <laughs> John, me. All right, so we know somebody's named John. But that Great. must be like a step up because no one you. is not dad. And the person who was, the person who the neighbor was calling was named Dwayne. Yes. Yeah. So if you're the person the neighbor was calling, John is also not you. And right, and there's Sarah and dad. Yeah. Right. Wait. I thought her name was Lucy. Right, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. I'm confused. How did we decide her name? Their name was Lucy. It because was Lucy's because, chapter. Lucy's chapter. chapter. So I, I only know that because of exogenic information. Right. Diegetic information. I'm really con I'm confused about the age of this child. Yes. Like I'm actually really confused right. as to who's, who lives in this room. So my my current theory is that that maybe this room was one girl's room and then another child was born later that took over the room. Oh, maybe. Because it's not uncommon. Like, no. But usually they take their stuff with them when it happens. Doesn't have to be a child. Right. Fair. Right, not fair, fair. fair. So we knocked on this wall. Let's go outside and see if there's... Anything? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh, again, if, if I'm interacting with it, you can't use that here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, thank God for the UI. <laughs> okay, so now we've looked at that bear. Okay. Has anything else changed? Oh. I don't like the mirror thing. It's like We are definitely a ghost. Yeah. Yes. 100%. Or a vampire. Or a vampire. Bear. <laughs> ghost vampires. Ghost vampires. Abominations. Yeah. God damn okay. Giovanni. So I'm still missing something, and it was interesting. The game at the beginning said this game is hard. Okay, great. Well, it is. We haven't gotten very far. <laughs> right. I hate to say it, but as a player, I would probably need either more selling me on the game by this point or more implication of what I'm actually supposed to do at the beginning, right? Like, you can yeah. make the game really difficult further on right. once your player is comfortable with all the basics and how you as a designer are thinking. But yeah, I don't even know what's expected of me right now. Like, what yeah, do you want right. me to do? There's a difference between being hard and ar and artificial difficulty because you're not giving players enough information. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting noise over here, and this like is that a rattling? You know what? It, is that outside? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the game. Oh. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> that was good. That was really good. There should have been a rattling there noise over been. here. Uh, Feedback. The real world is more interesting. It's not a good sign. My sanity is decreasing fast. Because Why reasons. do you hate clocks so much? Better stay in this closet where there's light. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do like the fact that we have discovered the character's clock phobia. Yeah. Yeah, that sound outside is the scariest thing that's yeah. happened so far. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, whoa, 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 go back, go back. What's there was a the bottle floor? in that room. I saw that. There's that? this bottle, this bottle. <laughs> I thought it was booze, but it might just be shampoo. It did look like booze. I, which is often a problem I have. <laughs> We're not judging. I can't tell. Explains the hair, Eddie. <laughs> Explains the hair. So I think we're back in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Wait, there's a light switch. There Yay. We go. Yay! Definitely shampoo. All right. Yeah. All right, so I still missed something very clearly. Uh, maybe I go back downstairs? Um, am I not hearing it? Like something, I missed some implication somewhere. Like as a designer, I really have to think that they implied to me where I was supposed to go and I just missed it. Where is that original room we came from with the creepy religious room? That's all the way back. We're all through the first chapter. I mean, we're in another chapter. You think there's something to drive us forward and not have to go back. Yeah. Right. Basic level design number 101. Back Don't go here. back to the last level. Never send the player back to the last unless, level. Unless it's a Metroidvania, but that's a very specific Well, And section. specifically, when you're doing retraversal, you have to make that retraversal interesting, right? Right, exactly. In, not just why uh, I missed something. Right. If I if you send me go back here and now this is all creepy and horrific and yeah. like I'm having scares and that well, sort that's of thing, interesting. that's fine, right? Me walking back here is not as good. Wait, what? Oh! Aha! Ah. Uh -huh. Excellent. So, actually, you know, since they've done all the light stuff with this, I would do this moment where you're walking down the stairs and all the other lights go off, but the light in this yes. room stays on. Yes, to help draw you it. closer there. Yeah. 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 
Oh, and what is this? Is this a bunch of keys that are broken? Yes. On the... Okay, that's a lot of bro. That's a oh, lot God. of broken keys. Okay, that. Now we're getting genuinely in- compelling here. Right. Like that. I had the exact same reaction. So this is abnormal, right? Like yes. This yeah. is outside of the realm of what I can normally understand. I can process the messy mm-hmm. house. And you can see like all the footprints now in the dust. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. So let's go in here and give this a shot. Black white TV. Items. A basement key. This is true. Yeah. This is true. But you don't need to insult the people who do. (laughs) Well, I know. (laughs) When they say full tutorial, right? The full Monty. Now, actually, go back to the picture. It looks like there's fingerprints in the picture. <laughs> okay, put your pills down. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the picture. And in the game. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, I like the hair. That's yeah. Good. I like the fact that I can lift up this picture while holding two bottles. <laughs> it's in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, and there, oh, you're right. There's some Jesus. There's some Jesus. Yeah. Um, all right. So we've got the basement key. We should clearly go to the basement. Also, auto saving. So now, yeah. yeah, VHS player. What's up with the TV? Oh, let's see. You think the outside of our house, maybe? Uh, nope. Whatever's playing on channel three. Yeah. Is that Vince McMahon? <laughs> oh, good point. That's their cable. Uh... All right, so we're going to do a little bit more exploration of what's around here. You, here's one of the cases where it's jammed, and I can see what's jamming it, and this is glass panes. Right. Yeah, you yeah you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yep. There are just better ways we can go about that. Uh, I can't do shit. I can't either. I would throw pills at it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, particularly in this environment, because there are so many obviously more horrible heavy objects. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. chair. What is that? Solved. Of that? Um, what is it like? Oh. I found a pill. <laughs> pill. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh. Again, you are. <laughs> Wait. Do it, do it. Oh, oh behind the base, behind the base. Yes. Oh. Wait, wait, oh, out. wait, oh, interesting. So there is some weight to some of these things. Huh. It's really interesting what is immobile and, like, movable objects. All right, so let's go to the basement. Because we're in a horror game. We're about to go to the basement. Right. Basement should be good, right? Like, as a player, I'm expecting that to be my first It's such a classic off. trope. Mm-hmm. And also, they, they stay oh. close to the basement. Interestingly, there's a bunch more, like, footprint stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. The candle is following along the wall and then popped in front of you. Yep. Tiger. Uh, Tiger. No, yeah. it, the candle, I love the, the way their physics it's work, amazing. the candle be a mild stuck on a lot of things, <laughs> and then eventually, <laughs> yeah. It's the kind of art you go to get garage sales buyer for, like, ten bucks a pop. Exactly, right? Yeah. The gilt frames. And then, yeah, we can... Take some pills! All right, so... Oh, wait, no. Nope. Oh, wait, what? What? I can, like, put that in my inventory? Uh, uh, <laughs> so you can hold two pills in a picture, but you can't hold a key in a lighter. Right. That's the garage. Ah, oh, that's the garage. I, oh, I right, know. that's the garage. You're absolutely correct. All right, who's mapping this adventure? <laughs> Get the graph paper. Yeah, right. Ten by ten. Tiger. <laughs> All right, this is probably it. By the front door. All right. Sadly, this I, I agree with this. This really needs a run button. So I'm pressing it, I believe. So here's my narrow normal move speed. That's my run move. Speed. What? Wait, you moved faster? So I believe so. Watch. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Very slightly. For the amount of moving around this game, you do it's, it's just a little bit of. Fast. We have face me key. Open key in the door. Try to have So if I have it, that's one of those just usability yeah. things. That yeah. Just flag it. Yeah. Okay. Somehow you did it. Alright, here we go. Basement. Tap it. 
calculators. Jeff William Lane. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, that is a lot of pictures. Yeah. Crazy uh, people that's a lot of vintages. Oh. We have the basement key. So now I have to use it again. Is that sound? Yeah, I think it's sound. Wait, Interesting. Can we find the kitchen? Yes. Through, In the basement. Yeah. But I don't think I actually went down to the basement. I went oh, through, through the, the basement. basement. Got it. That's still basement. Right. Got it. Okay. So oh, and that's the, that's the area that's jammed. All right. So Wait, lighter time. Here. Double. Oh, no. Not, no, 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 lighter time. <laughs> so I'm waiting for it here. Yeah. It's, there's got to be something coming. So this darkness, like, the, okay. Let's see what this is. This house is gigantic. Right? This yeah. is crazy. How much money do people have? How many rooms do they have? Let's walk out. I have trouble getting three bedrooms and th two baths. Yeah. Oh, lighter two. Nope. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. So I always love the shadow tarp thing that they're yeah. doing here. I love the shadow implications. Usually when they're lies, when it looks like a body, and you come around and it's, it's just a mannequin. mannequin. Yeah. Well, the mannequin's used a little bit too often. Yeah. Uh, I've got a lighter. Here's a propane tank. Sure. Yeah, game over. <laughs> we win. Uh -huh. Victory condition one. Uh, all right. I'm. So, to be honest with everybody, I'm waiting for that first big moment in order to sort of call it a night on this. Yeah. Um, and it's just not happening. Right. We're not getting there. Okay. So oh. far, I always love how creepy installation, installation yeah. is. Yeah. In the real world. Yeah. Got it. It's, prob it's probably like asbestos, you're too. Attic. Yeah. You're breathing asbestos. You can feel the asbestos in your lungs. So they're renoing the entire sewer system, I guess. Right. <laughs> For the whole neighborhood. Yeah. Right. Now we're in a different house, definitely. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, same statue. Oh. Uh, that that moment. Yeah, the key the key should have gotten you to access this whole area. Yeah. I don't know why we keep opening the key. Fair. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. But right now it looks like it unlocks it and the door stays open. Um, so you're right. Maybe there may be a moment where that happens, but it seems a little over-engineered. I mean, I would think that if that were the case, you'd probably want to have that as part of your other inventory so you'd switch out a lighter for that key. So now we're going... Then you come this way? I think so. Yeah. I think so. This is, but there was a second path that I could have taken from here. So I go up here. You go over here. I went up to the kitchen. Right. But instead of up to the kitchen, if I went this way instead. Right. There we go. Now we'll say the disorienting part is not bad. Yeah. You get a little lost. It's actually not a bad design for a horror game to have. Well, and here's Wait, a place for good, like tight spaces were to use yeah. well. Oh, that's just where I came from. So this house is like so. A lot of this is just a big circle. Blue. Yeah. There we go. Right. Basement the rules. There we go. Put the toys back in their place. No yelling. Close the TV. That's very dated. Yeah. Close the that TV is. when leaving the basement. That's what the TV had. Okay. We had little doors. Yeah, I had one growing up. Do not try to go in the locked room. Do not turn off the monitor. Uh, the I monitor will watch you at all times. Have fun with me, boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to light this candle before we close the TV. Oh, hey, they really like that character. Yeah. They clearly made that asset one of you. Is that a gramophone? It is. So, I'm starting to get a little lost on the actual time period. Yeah, now I'm not sure. Maybe this is a multi-generational house? This is a different house. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, we broke into someone else's house. We're taking their stuff now. We're going to take all their candles and pills. <laughs> you play murder, hobo. Here you're a murder, hobo. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how I get rid of all this stuff. I guess. Yeah, I'm sure the navigator is full. Whoa, what? Whoa. You died. Uh, all right, how about oh, we do one of these? Okay. I thought you went into the TV for a second. Yeah, right. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. I would love to have gone into the TV. You have some Persona 4 action going here. Yeah, Persona 
Double lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I had the exact same moment. <laughs> that was a perfect opportunity for I something. And so this is what I usually refer to, and we have a video on this, but uh, called negative possibility space, where you establish a space of possibility for something interesting to happen, and then fail to make it happen. It's that moment where you go, oh. Yeah. Um, it's where the player should feel rewarded, they just feel disappointed. Okay, so like, um, for me, and it's good to talk about horror games in particular, a lot of people play horror games for the same reasons you ride roller coaster rides. Yeah. You do it because you want to be scared. Yes. Um, so by not by taking away the thing that you want the game to do, it doesn't add. It, it, we've gone from tension to boredom. Right. And confusion. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the TV upstairs. I have to turn off the TV upstairs. I now feel too stupid to play this game. That's but, not <laughs> but we turn the TV off here, right? So this is the problem. For me, it says basement rules, right? Close the TV when leaving the basement. But what it really wants me to do is close the TV before entering the basement. Right? <laughs> I hope I so. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to happen. It might be during this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. For <laughs> no, no. I mean, to be fair, we're learning a lot, and I mean, it's, no, I think it's a great example. Yeah, it's unfortunately a negative example, but no, no, this great ambiance. There's a lot this game is doing well. There. Um, it's whether it's a game right now is kind of the question. Okay. Whoa, wait. Now What's we're happening? suddenly into cutscene. Cutscene. Wait, what? I'm not doing any of this, except as my ghost self. Yeah. Yes, that was all that was locked door. There is no need to keep it because lighter's empty. You can't refill lighters in this world? We live in the opulent uh, U.S. <laughs> um, all right, so... Actually, that's the UI thing. If it had been a disposable lighter, I think that would have sold better. Yeah. Okay, now what? Okay. So now where is it showing me? It's that, showing now the room with the gramophone. That, that's actually good. But, oh, okay, so there's actually a girl or somebody oh, in that... Yep. Back and they, me they mentioned the monitor, and the gramophone's now a good point because that was a hero object that people can right. remember easily. Yeah. Um, all right, so now let's go back down there. Cool. So they and it is actually good that they're not letting me turn it back off because now I, after seeing that, I was like, oh, do I have to turn it back off again? You can't. So right. therefore, I know I don't have to. Right. I do like the blinds that have been like yeah. obviously torn down because they yeah. were trying to stare outside of them. Yeah. Yeah, we are moving through time. So it is it is starting to pick up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I will give it that. And I do, I, what I liked about PT and what I was hoping from this were those moments where the house changes. Now a hand there? Right. Oh, oh okay, gloves. So, so we're, oh. but good, good placement. Yes. I just wanted to check real quick if anything else, yup, wait, no, that's my light. I just wanted to see if anything else changed. Yeah. And also, I mean, there's a nice narrative connection of going from one. It's confusing because there's two TVs, but it is it kind of go from one place to TV to the place to TV? Yeah, so I mean, physical connectivity yeah, between two spaces. Right. So, so I see what they're trying to do here. It's a little muddy, but it's not a bad design idea. Yeah. The idea behind it is good. It's just yeah. the execution needs a little. Right. Bit yeah, that's, that's what a lot of games yeah. from this game is that it, it could be good. I see what they're trying to do. It's just not quite there yet. Yeah, the ambiance is nice. I like yeah. the art. Like yeah. <laughs> so, wait a minute. I can interact with everything in this game, pick it up and look at it, but I just saw a chainsaw and I cannot pick Boo. it up. I believe I, what you said earlier, except for I believe this to be Chekhov's chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> right. It will be, the chain will be pulled by the third episode. Oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely. That chainsaw's going somewhere. Okay. Probably into that someone. I, one would hope. <laughs> okay, I think you're yeah, I think Where you're right. Going? It's the other way, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's right. where blue glow is. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, no, 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 Maybe it's... I don't know. Oh, I think I remember how to do it. Uh, wait, what the... Now I'm turned around. Nope, there we Basic go. Rules. Okay, good. Auto saving! Again. Creepy <laughs> okay, doll. But we're not saving in the dark. We have a lighter right here. 
static. Oh, something flash. Right, I'm hoping that was not a glitch. Nope. Nope, it's not a glitch. Yay! Not a glitch. Cool. So that, that, that's. Wait, I'm stuck. Are you sure it wasn't a glitch? Uh, oh. Oh. That was a drawing from before. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I, I can't. Oh, okay. So I was actually just stuck on the wall. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. So this is a much better moment. They just need to yeah. get here earlier. Yeah. 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 Or at least signpost the. Something's gonna happen. Like like the broken keys thing, if that had been like the first thing you see, yeah. Yeah, that, would that would have helped to sell things a lot earlier. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna look at this one more time. I just wanna see what they do. Okay. What? What? Uh, I'm sort of saying go this way. So maybe it's across oh, the Oh, your lighter's almost empty. There. I dropped a lighter somewhere here. There it is. So many lighters. <laughs> and no <laughs> ashtrays on the road. That is the right. point. Definitely smoking should have been more prevalent in this house, given the time frame. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're, now we're, the creepiness is starting to happen. Is that a gun? I, I couldn't tell. Oh, you're right, yeah. She's clearly she's sick. Just needs a flu vaccine. Vaccinate your children. <laughs> uh, that's actually, this is actually a vaccination okay. PSA. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, for me, it's flashing too fast. I can't even see what it is. Right. Oh, that's it. I saw that one. Same there. Still nothing? There's a camera. Camera. Where? Sorry, I missed that one. I actually like totally missed. Where are you seeing this camera? In here? Oh, back here? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you go straight and to the left. There we go. All right. You have too many lighters. I apparently do have too many lighters. Uh, so you could choose lighter or camera. There we go. Ah, we have a camera. Wait, I can switch hands. Interesting. Oh. And now this game has become a fatal frame. Let's hope. That would be, awesome. <laughs> be amazing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to. It stops flashing though. That's irritating. I was hoping it'd be kind of a light source. Yeah. I am. And the freezer. Trying to figure out how to. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop this light. Oh, that's terrible. So I can. Got it. So the flash is what's causing things to appear on the walls. Yeah, there was a teddy upstairs, a drawing of the teddy sure. upstairs. Sure, let's go that way. We've also got this creepy creep. Oh, hey, that's... Whoa! Yay! Yay! I saw her. So we just need to get here a lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the pills at her! Clearly, it's what she wants. Creepy girl! <laughs> Bam! Done! Wait, what happened? Wait, she... <laughs> so now we're that creepy girl? The bottle is empty. Oh, is there? Yeah, so look where she walked in. Yep. And she put something down. Oh. If you don't pick it up, you can disappear and you can never breathe. Oh, is the syringe? Oh, interesting. Uh, I thought that was a candle when I passed by it. <laughs> Sweet. What? at yourself? <laughs> zoom in, zoom in. Ah! <laughs> no. That's a big 
syringe. Uh, okay. What happened? That, that's not normal. But there is a line down here, yeah. yeah. I do actually like this mechanic, if it's a mechanic of the flash from yeah. the camera, like the camera. That's nice. It's, I feel like it's brighter on the TV than on our monitor. Yeah, that might be true. <laughs> so it's got me. We should actually quit now. I'm actually somewhat right, well, curious. Well, like, the yep, now. There are parties upstairs. I got to get to. Yeah, and we'll we'll we're ending this momentarily. Let's. There's the bear, but now only when I do the flash and. That, that, this is actually a really interesting, compelling mechanic. Yeah, I like this mechanic a lot. Yep. And also because it forces you to stop and look in yeah. short moments. And you know, you're like, is that saying something over my head? No. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I'm out of, uh, out of flash. Yeah. All right. That was good. That was good. So I think with that, um, this is really just a game with a huge pacing problem, right? Yeah. Um, that there's a lot that needs to happen sooner, and they artificially, with all the tutorials and stuff, yeah. put a lot to break up the pacing even further. Yeah. Um, I there is building tension in a um, in a horror experience that you want to do, right? The beginning of almost your Silent Hill games when you're just walking through the mist, right? But there's a lot of other things going on to help build up that tension, and then the payoff is there the first time that there is a opportunity for it, right? Whereas here, opening all those drawers, each of those is an opportunity for it, and after that opportunity doesn't pay off 10 times in a row. Right. And I think what, uh, all that can be solved by the fact that um, if you want to have some mundane exploration at the beginning, just put in strange and unusual objects to yeah. indicate things are not quite normal. Um, because once you got to that camera, then the whole game, we should have started really yes. at that level. I mean, if you had the camera at the very beginning or very close to the very beginning, um, to say, okay, there's something weird happening here, then the tension is going on because it's the uncanniness and the unnormalness that starts to eat at you. Um, but you have to have that in conjunction with the exploration. If it's just boring exploration, it, it's just boring. Start me at the keys. Let me find the basement key right there. Yeah. Begin me at the basement. Because there's nothing going on in the basement. We don't see any harm in the basement until after I go figure out the TV thing, right? right. So we can basically start me in the basement, get to the point where uh, we have the TV moment, TV moment leads me to that initial section with the camera. We get that mechanic. I feel like that gets my buy-in a lot more on this yeah. game. Um, but all right, well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for this uh, wacky experience. I hope there were some things that you learned. And, uh, yeah. Thanks to our human walkthrough over here. <laughs> yes. Um, and in your opinion, if one were to play all the way through, do you feel like it's worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just the experience, yeah, I think the atmosphere is really good. There is definitely some basic issues. It feels to me, like Thomas, that um, they maybe didn't realize they needed to be early access as soon as they did. Yeah. They worked in the tutorial a little bit later than they should have. Yeah. And that may be one of the reasons to look for Some interesting comments on uh, the pacing of it and uh, the tutorial and uh, the relevance from someone who has played it in our audience. Yeah. Um, all right, and that's it. Goodbye, Twitch, and thank you, everybody. And for you. YouTube, and Mixer, and everyone who's actually here. And don't it, forget your candles. <laughs> don't <laughs> double candles wheel pills. pills. And I'll just say thank you to Siege for having us, and thank yep. you to DreamHack for lending us the equipment. Yeah. All right, good night, everyone.